a haunting game cartridge, or music that will give you an illness or make you end yourself. These are 5 scary video game creepypastas. The origin of the story is a guy named Tom, who was a big fan of Sonic the Hedgehog, received a CD with a letter from his friend named Kyle who begged him to destroy the CD before it's too late and to not play the game. Tom ignored his friend and started to play the game. The main title screen features an evil looking Sonic with bloody eyes and with a wide smile. The file select screen was similar to that of Sonic the Hedgehog 3 with a red background and disturbing music. The only playable character was Tails and the first stage begins. Hill Act 1. Going through the stage, there were copious amounts of dead animals, all murdered in gruesome ways. And at the end of the stage, you encounter Sonic with his eyes closed, standing completely still. When Tails tries to get Sonic's attention by tapping on him on the shoulder, Sonic's eyes open. Then the screen cuts to black, a message appears, hello, do you want to play with me? Then in the next level, hide and seek. Sonic is chasing Tails. Sonic teleports in front of Tails and kills him. Then the screen cuts to black with a chilling message appearing. You're too slow. Want to try again? The next playable character was Robotnik. At the end of the level, Sonic teleported in front of Robotnik and the screen cuts to red static. Then a hyper realistic image of Sonic appeared on screen with the words, I am God, appearing on the screen. And another story, Tom offed himself to escape Sonic. Shortly after the release of Pokemon Red and Green in Japan back on February 27, 1996, there are rumors of suicides and illnesses that occurred only after the children playing the game reached Lavender Town, which the theme music had extremely high frequencies. Studies were done and showed only children and young teens could hear since their ears were more sensitive. Due to Lavender Town, there's at least 200 children committed the S word by hanging or jumping from high places and many more catch an illness. Those who didn't act irrationally complained about getting severe headaches after listening to the Lavender Town theme. After the Lavender Town incident, the programmers fixed the music to be at a low frequency and since then, there are no children affected by the theme. A random player was loading into a single player Minecraft world. The world seemed normal at first. While cutting down some trees to make a crafting table, the player noticed something moving amongst the fog. Due to playing on a very slow computer, the player had to set the render distance low. The player thought it was a cow and so decided to pursue it. Having a closer look, it was another player with a default skin, but the eyes were empty and had no pop-up name. The player had to double check to see if he was still in a single player mode. The player decided to pursue the character out of curiosity, but he wasn't there anymore. The player carried on with the game and noticed things out of place such as 2x2 tunnels in the rocks and small perfect pyramids made out of sand in the ocean and grooves the trees with all their leaves cut off. The player tried to pursue the random player, but he wasn't there. The player saved the map and went on forum to see if anybody else saw the player, but there was none. The player created his own topic and asked if anybody had a similar experience. Then his post started to get deleted. The player received a PM from the user Herobrine with one word, stop. He went to Herobrine's profile, the page was 404 the player received an email from another forum user. The user claimed to see the mystery player. Their world was also littered with man-made structures. Some people who encountered the mystery player did research on the name Herorion and found it to be a user by a Swedish player. Some more research was done and found it to be the brother of Notch. The player emailed Notch and asked if he had a brother. It took a while, but Notch eventually got back to the player saying, I did. But he's no longer with us. Since then, the player hasn't encountered Herobrine. Until the Java Edition 1.16.2 update, there was a running gag with Herobrine removed. A sophomore in college recently moved into his dorm and his friend gave him his old Nintendo 64 with a yellow controller with the game Super Smash Brothers. 
It didn't take long for him to get bored of the game, so he decided to drive around the neighborhood looking for garage sales. So he decided to drive around the neighborhood looking for some garage sales so he could get some good deals. He got a few games and a few controllers, and the last house he went to caught his attention. It was a table with random junk on it. He was greeted by an old man who looked blind in one eye. He started to look through the pile of junk on the table and found what looked like Majora's mask. The old man gave him a cartridge with Majora written in black marker. He got it for free and took it to the dorm. He loaded the game up. It was only one saved file, Ben. He thought it might have been the old man's grandson. He started a new file, Link, and started the game. The game ran smoothly. There were random bugs in the game such as textures being where they shouldn't be. The unnerving part was the NPCs would either call him Link or Ben. The author decided to delete the Ben file hoping to solve the problem which it sorta of did. The NPCs called him nothing, a blank space where his name should be. The author got frustrated and decided to put the game down for a day. Picking it back up, the player decided to try a glitch but instead appeared in a twilight version of the clock town. Everything was gone, and the music was playing in reverse. The music kept getting louder. This is when we see the author start slowly descending into madness. As the author ran around clock town, the author could hear the faint laugh of the happy mask salesman. The author tried to find him, but he was nowhere. Every time the author tried to leave Clocktown, the screen would fade to black and zone him into another part of Clocktown. At this point, it was obvious that the game didn't want him to leave, so the author tried to drown himself. When he tried, the screen flashed for a moment with the happy face salesman smiling. Skull Kid's screen was also in the background. When the screen turned to normal, there was a Link statue. The statue would follow the author everywhere he went. The screen would cut occasionally to the happy masked salesman smiling. All of a sudden, Link was warped into an underground tunnel. He ran out of the tunnel to the southern clock town. There was a scream, and the screen faded, and now he was on the top of the clock tower with Skull Kid hovering over him. He shot a few arrows at Skull Kid, and a text appeared stating, That won't do you any good, and Link was lifted off the ground and bursted into flames. The screen faded and he appeared in the same place. The author decided to charge at him and was lifted off the ground and burst into flames. It happened again on his final try. The next scene was Link laying on the ground. The screen faded to black with a message, you've met with a terrible fate, haven't you? Back on the title screen, the saved file was replaced with your turn. The author hit the reset button. The game booted up and under the saved file was Ben. There's a few more parts to this story, so if you want me to do a separate video on this, please let me know in the comments. Fallout 3 contains several in-game radio stations. The most important is Galaxy News Radio. Many players know you can kill 3Dog and he'll be replaced with a technician Margaret. Once 3Dog is dead, you're stuck with Margaret. What most players don't know is that when you kill 3Dog, GNR will become a number station. A number station is a station that broadcasts an unusual coded message. Also, to hear the coded message, you have to skip over the Galaxy News Station, and lastly, destroy Raven Rock, which is the trigger to turn GNR into a number station. Once done, you'll get the message, Radio Signal Lost, and after a few seconds, Radio Signal Found. When tuned in, you'll hear a familiar voice, 3Dog, but it's not technically 3Dog, but just the voice actor. He reads a series of numbers in a monotone voice. The Morse code translated would be, I washed my car today, or have you watched my YouTube video? Some of the messages are quite sinister, like the time and date of Gary Oldman's death, or the Korean has died today, the world mourns as on days like these, we are all Brits. The latest date of all the messages is July 6th, 2027 at 1.27. Thank you for watching the video to the end. I want to be a creator full time. I'm currently in school so if you love the videos I make or if you're a first time viewer and want to see more, please subscribe and like the video. 
Also, comment what other videos you want to see from this channel. Follow my Twitter for updates and other stuff too. And I'll see you in the next video.